Sean Foyer, Universal Mindset Disruptor here. I want to talk about climbing the mountain today. When we're, we're dealing with struggles and challenges in life, we automatically go to struggle mode. If we're trying to work things out in a relationship and it gets hard, sometimes we push even harder. When we're trying to reach a financial goal and it becomes hard, sometimes we work even harder. And not that there's not times in life to do that, but I want you to think about this because for me, I ran into certain times where I tried to climb up the mountain my 20 year marriage that ended up in divorce. I spent two years going against the grain, trying to fight for it, trying to make things happen that were out of my control. When my mom was dying from early onset Alzheimer's, I fought it. In fact, I ran away from it for a while. I, was, I couldn't handle the seer like that. I ran away from it. I tried to fight it. There's not a gosh dang thing I could do about that. So the opposite of fighting and climbing the mountain is surrendering to it, releasing to it, allowing. When a good relationship goes south and goes bad, you wanna fight for it. But when all signs are pointing down the mountain, Get a raft, hop in, allow, trust, flow, see where it takes you. When somebody you love and care about is passing away, you know, I've lost both my parents, all my grandparents, I've been at their deathbed, uh, blessed, blessed to do so, I couldn't stop that. I had to get in the raft and, and when I go down the river on a situation like that, it's gratitude. I'm just feeling gratitude. I'm so thankful for the time I had with them. And obviously it's easier said than done, but it's something I practice. So, you know, I've got a good friend that they're looking at some property and they're really set on this one piece of property. And maybe that's theirs, maybe it's not. The more they worry and stress about it and climb the mountain emotionally, the harder it's gonna be, the more negative emotions they're gonna create. So sometimes we have to let go. And guess what? Sometimes something better comes. You know, when I look at, at my life in situations, when I've allowed and trusted and flowed and let go, I'm, I'm on my third career basically, and this is my best career. I'm going on my second marriage, and it's gonna be my last one, but it's so much better than anything I've ever experienced. I look at my 50 year old healthy, happy body. I had to let go of some things in order to get here. So um, I just want you to, to think about what in your life right now are you trying to climb up the mountain? You're fighting against something. You can't fight against gravity. You can't fight against the law of polarity. You can't fight against you know your inner knowing. Higher power, God, whatever you wanna call him, I call him God, he knows what's best for you. And his path might look a lot different. And so if you're fighting his path, you're gonna lose. So instead of trying to climb the mountain and fight against it, I mean, give it your all. Don't give up on something before you should. But when you realize all signs are pointing down the mountain, hop in the raft, put on some tunes, your AirPods, and enjoy the ride. Allowing, trusting, flowing makes that easier. Thanks everybody.